May morning. Will rain spoil the maple dance? Or can Mrs. May save the day? Looking at the cover of this story, we can see the children are playing around, there's butterflies flying, and in the northern hemisphere, they celebrate Spring Day the 1st of May. However, here in South Africa, we celebrate it the 1st of September. Let's look at some of the words that you're going to find in the story. They are in the green boxes. Don't, I'm, time, about, day, hold, hanging, morning, painted, flowers, there, Mrs, looked, asked, water, to, indoors, colors, everyone, gone. Now on the cover picture, it's a beautiful May morning, but the blurb told us that the rain is going to spoil us. Let's see what happens in this story. Mrs. May took the children onto the playing field. Why are we going outside, Mrs. May? asked Wolf. There was a tall pole standing in the playing field. It had ribbons hanging down from the top. What is it, Mrs. May? asked Chip. It's a maypole, said Mrs. May. I'm going to teach you the maypole dance. I want you all to stand in a circle, Mrs. May went on. Now take hold of a ribbon. Then take four steps backwards. The ribbons spread out in a circle of blue, green, red and yellow colours. The dance is quite easy, but we'll walk it first, said Mrs. May. She told them to walk in a circle, so the ribbons wound round the pole. Now we'll do it to music, she said. The pole looks great, said Nadim, and all we did was walk round it. In time, we will learn how to weave a pattern, smiled Mrs. May. May Day is a special day, said Mrs. May. Who can tell me why? It celebrates spring, said Wilf, and better weather, said Chip. It will be fun to celebrate May Day, said Mrs. May. We are going to have a school fair. Every class is taking part. There was a lot to do to prepare for May morning. Some children were going to sing a song. The children in Wilma's class painted big pictures of birds and flowers to go around the playground wall. Mrs. May's class worked hard at the maypole dance. They had to remember which way to skip with the ribbons round the maypole. Two children were chosen to be king and queen of the May. Her dress is nice, said Biff, but I'm glad I don't have to wear it. At last it was May morning, but it was teeming with rain. The pictures on the playground wall were soaked. The maypole was standing in a pool of water. We can't dance around that, said Chip. It's going to rain all day, said Nadine's mum. It's such a shame. We will have to celebrate May morning indoors, said Mrs. May. But what about the maypole dance, asked Biff. Cheer up, we can still do it, said Mrs. May. Leave it to me. We will do the maypole dance in the hall. I'll be the maypole, said Mrs. May. She held up the top of the pole with the ribbons on it. The children took their places around Mrs. May and the music began. Everybody clapped as the children began to dance. 
the ribbons began to weave into a pattern. The music did not stop, so the children went on dancing. The pattern went lower. The ribbons wound round the top of Mrs. May's head. Everyone cheered at the end. So Mrs. May saved the day, said Mum. That's true, said Nadim's mum. Mum looked for Dad, but he was not in the hall. Did you see where Dad went? asked Mum. Dad has gone to get a big bunch of flowers for Mrs. May. Three cheers for Mrs. Maypole, said Dad. I would like you to go through the story again. Look at the pictures. Look what's happening in the background. Why did Dad call Mrs. May, Mrs. May Pole at the end of the story? Now, turn off the sound and read the story twice yourself and enjoy it.